You were born in Texas, but you said before that you call the Bay Area your home. How does it feel to be back home again? Awesome. <laughs> it's uh, it's uh, not only the Bay Area, it's also just the West Coast Conference. I mean, I've, it's invested 17 years of my life coaching this league, so a lot of familiarity with the, the people and, and the, the institution, so it's really exciting. You spent nine years as an assistant at St. Mary's, and then before that, eight years at San Diego. What does it mean to you to be back in this conference and as a head coach? Uh, it's, it's awesome. I've always felt like this was the best combination of athletics and academics. Um, it's the right, right tone for what, what I believe is right and just the, the true student athlete experience. And then they're in the beautiful cities, beautiful conference, and we're lucky. And I landed in the best city, so I'm really excited. You brought Columbia to new heights in your six years there. Why was now the right time to leave? Uh, you just don't know uh, when those opportunities are going to happen and the, the people think that coaches choose is not necessarily the case and I really believe in uh, the idea that you make the big time where you're at and grow where you're planted so we were really half, happy and comfortable in New York City uh, making that our home and this opportunity came along and you really want to go where somewhere you're wanted and, and uh, USF really expressed that to me and, and, and it's, that was easy. It was easy one. Once I felt wanting like to do that, and just it's just like I said, it's a homecoming of sorts, and very similar job in a lot of ways. Uh, just being an urban uh, school and, and Division One, and it, it's got a really ripe opportunity for us. Have you talked to any of the other WCC head coaches since coming over here? Yeah, several. Um, ones I worked with, uh, obviously with uh, Lamont being at San Diego and, and Randy uh, being over at St. Mary's and. Marty Wilson, Pepperdine, I've actually coached Lamont and worked with the other one, so it's very, you know, very much familiar with the league. San Francisco finished in the middle of the pack this past season and over the last decade really has finished right around 500. How will success on the court be measured here? I think they didn't hire us to finish in the middle of the pack. I think we'll, we want to be, we want to bring the, the brand USF to, to prominence where it should be, is trying to tie into the, the rich uh, history and uh, tradition of this program and and I think just actually just the WCC will benefit if we can get the, we want to kind of get this thing back to the Bay Area the rivalries they're built in I think we have the best fan base the, the interest down here so obviously being competing towards top half and obviously top third of the league is, is important to us and eventually having a chance to win conference championships and partic participate in postseason tournaments the big one <laughs> What's grabbed your attention so far about your players, whether it's how they play on the court or how they interact off? You know, they've been really coachable. Uh, I'm really excited. They, they, uh, it's, it, and it's a little different coming from the non-scholarship to the scholar. It's, it's nice to have that a little bit. The guys are a little more invested uh, in just in the basketballs. It's just a, it's important to them. And uh, they've had great attitudes. They're willing to work. Um, you know, Coach Walters did. He left a, a nice group for us. To, they're, we're young. But they're they're willing to work and take on what we what we want to do, and it should be good. Given that your team is young, what do you think is a reasonable expectation for this upcoming year? You know, I'm, a, I'm an eternal optimist. That I, I don't know. I just think we're just we're, we're sick of the game plan. What we've done, it really uh, it's stolen from St. Mary's and ran and I were together and, and did it in Columbia. Just really about the process. Just with having a great attitude, developing great work ethic, and the most important thing is. I think it's great for this job is that just guys that really want to be here. There's no, no place like this. I've really invested like my two months here alone just without a car, walking around the city, just em embracing the, the different aspects of this vibrant city. I lived here before I finally walked across the Golden Gate Bridge for first time ever. Um, it's just, it's a beautiful place and just so excited about it. Now that you're back in the Bay Area, there's certain food you have to be excited about being back around, right? I, I, uh, hey, I love food. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Food, food's a big part of it, and uh, I've, uh, I've, I'm pretty much at uh, Original Joe's every other day down in North Beach. Uh, it's a USF home spot, but I've also I found a little, a little spot in uh, Laurel Heights or Laurel Village over there. Is a few, a uh, few little spots. I'm, 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 I love to eat, and I'm good. I got my burrito joint. That's 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 really imp that's really important for a San Franciscan. What is the burrito uh, joint? Is it Papaloti? Oh yeah, yeah big, right big, around big. the corner. Yes, of course. It's it's all about the salsa there. It totally is. It's all big time. Yes, no question.